Hello, Belovers. Welcome back to another awesome makeup tutorial. Today, we're gonna to be doing a makeup tutorial inspired by Starbucks Pumpkin Spice Latte with coconut milk. Let's get your basic harvest on. Keep watching. Hello, Belovers. Welcome back to another awesome makeup tutorial. Grab your brushes or your tickets to the circus. Either way, I went ahead and pre-primed my eyelids with Urban Decay's Primer Potion, and I also used KKW's Powder Contour and Highlight Kit in the shade of Light to just give my eyebrow area a nice little bronze. I also went ahead and filled in my brows with the Brow Liner by European Wax Center. One of the tips that I learned from Kim K when she was putting on her makeup with Mario was that she uses the shade of the, like one of these of the contours as a bronzer for her eye area, which is one of the things that I just started to do. Now, because it's a pumpkin spice latte theme, I'm gonna be using Morphe and my Too Faced White Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm really hoping it turns out pretty well. I decided for my pumpkin spice latte look, I wanted to go in with a green eyelid, okay? And I wanna do a like orangey brow area, okay? Remember last time we tried to do the orange and it didn't work out too well? It's because I used a really light orange. So I'm just gonna go in and I'm just, I'm not gonna be shy this time. And I'm gonna go in with my Precision Shadow Brush by Sephora, okay? I'm gonna be using the Precision Shadow Brush by Sephora. We're gonna kiss and tell in this orange shade right here, okay? And I wanna just do the crease and above just right here. I just want to just go right there. And I might actually want to tail it out a little because it's for a pumpkin spice latte. We're going to bibbidi bobbidi boo this bitch. Oh, okay. kiss and tell. I'm telling the world. Before I do this, I'm going to attempt the V tip that James Charles and Wayne Goss always talk about. They say do like a V kind of like here and there. I don't know if that's what I want to do though. Ugh, you guys. Okay, I'm just going to do what I want to do. What would Eric do? So I'm going to use a card right here. I'm just going to help me just define that area because I typically tend to always go over, you know, looking straight ahead. I was like something stabbing me in the eye. What is it? <laughs> and it was like the card. <sighs> okay, not bad, shoot. But I feel like I'm like more light, yo. I feel like I'm like so dark right now. It's like a nice pumpkin orangey shade. Right, we're getting Better. I'm just going over with the crease. This is a really nice shade, by the way. I'm really digging it. What I'm doing is I'm going in a rainbow. I'm going from the outside part here and I'm going around. So as you can see, I'm living well enough alone. Now we're gonna go in and do the other side. Okay, so I know, right? It looks great, yeah. Hashtag progress. We will be going back into this shade right here. Okay, kiss and tell. And we're going in with the card. And what I want to do is, okay, see what I did here? I went with the end of my brow. So that's what I wanted. I wanna go with the end of my brow. I swear, I feel like I'm in the shadows. Like, do you know when you have the light so much on you that you feel like there's not enough light because it's so overwhelmingly bright or not bright enough? That's what I feel right Okay, how did I do this? Gosh, I'm so much better on this side. I'm like terrified to do the other side. I need a mirror. I'm really thinking of investing in one of those. After I invest in my James Charles brush set, I'm thinking of investing in one of those like lighting kits that has a mirror and a phone holder and a huge light all around, like filled with LED light. I saw it at DragCon at the panel. I got all these cards of like all the vendors that I wanted to purchase from, but I just didn't have enough time. And I didn't go shopping with money either. I just went there to meet a few mentors and inspirers. Okay. Okay, look at what you did on this side. We're gonna have to just see what I did on this side. Copy that. Remember, we're using the Precision Shadow Brush. Oh, well, I guess I covered the whole lid. I might as well, right? Don't be shy. That wasn't my purpose. I don't want to cover the lid. Because when I do that, I end up looking like, hello, we're going to the circus. No shade to you, clowns, okay? But like, hello. Okay, I clearly didn't go to clown circus. School. <laughs> <laughs> Clowns are good school. <laughs> It really helps to have like a nice bronzer underneath that. I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea, but we're gonna try this out anyway. I'm going in to the Morphe Astrological Eyeshadow Kit, and I'm going into this green color. It's like a very dark green color. It's almost emerald, kiss and tell. We wanna just smoke out right here, so I was just thinking about just adding a little bit of green right here to accentuate the pumpkin right here, and I'm gonna smoke it out from here. So let's, let's hope for the best, okay? Yeah. Okay, I'm looking in the mirror. Now, what I'm doing is I'm going halfway out with the angled liner brush. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing yet. And then I'm just gonna grab the blending brush and blend it out. When I say blend it out, I'm grabbing the blender brush. So I'm gonna blend it out. Grabbing the brush, I'm kind of going up and out. Hello, we wanna have the crown always. Smoke outward because we want light to be here, not dark. It's kind of nice, right? Lightly green, but not too green. Let's try a little bit more. Just a little bit more because I wanna ombre it out right there. I'm going back in. I'm going into this green color right here. Kiss and tell, kiss and tell. And I'm going out. I'm brushing out. I'm blending out with the blender brush in like circles like this. And I'm going out and then out. And because I'm kind of, the, they call it ombre when it kind of does this kind of thing. It's kind of nice. It has like a nice little shade right there. Okay, perfect. 
don't mess with it, Eric. And we can probably use a little bit of concealer to clean this part up. And we're probably gonna brighten it up a little bit afterwards, but now I just wanna do this side too. Yay, pumpkin spice latte, have a sip. We'll come back with this finish done. Cleaning the blender brush, yeah. And blend, okay. I went ahead and finished the other eye, and here we are. Okay, do you see? We're zooming in right now. We're zooming in. Zooming out, zooming in, yeah. As you can see, I kind of did like a nice little smoke out, and I went a little too low here. Oh, gosh, I'll figure this out. I'm getting better though. No, I want, I want too much here. Do I just went out? Whatever. Okay, next up on the menu is a light green color. This is really exciting. So as of now, my eyelids don't really have much. Okay, this bright green color right here. Kiss and tell, so I'm looking straight ahead and I'm going on the top with the angled liner brush. Maybe I blew too much. Okay, maybe I just need to kiss and not tell. I really like this color combination, yeah. Okay, so we're just using the liner. I'm going right where the crease is of the eyelid because I don't want to go above. Do you see where I accidentally just touched that part really high? We just want to create a difference. So I have a dark green, a light green and an orange. Kind of peachy though. Are you peachy with the cytokine? Packing it on there. I wonder what the green is gonna look like with the green screen in the background, to be honest with you. So do you see that? Okay, I touched up a little bit on both of these sides with the smudge brush and I blended it out using this green here, just a little bit, okay? Just to give me that darker shade. It smudged a little bit on this side, but we're gonna fix that, we're not done. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna use a lighter shade of orange. I'm going in with brush 205. I'm gonna be using the crease side. And actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna go between this orange and this orange. The pumpkin spice latte this year is a lot better than it was the year before and the year before that. This year actually the recipe is, it's not vegan friendly unfortunately, but it's very subtle. The flavor is very subtle. And that's what I like about it to be honest with you. And I will share with you later this season, my pumpkin pie recipe from scratch with a graham cracker crust too. I'm so excited. But back to the pumpkin spice makeup. <laughs> now because I have a darker shade here, I'm avoiding going this way. I'm actually going from tear duct outwards. That way I can also bring out the lighter shade. I would like to know from you how many makeup tutorials a week would you like from me? Okay, it's not giving me the orange. It's looking really peachy. Okay, not giving me the color that I want, but you guys see what I'm going for though, right? I'm using this shade. Okay, and I'm kissing and telling this brush and I'm lightly putting it here. I know! All right, I went ahead and smoked out the ends right here using my precision shadow brush and the brown. For some reason, it's just kind of not splotchy. It's kind of what I wanted, kind of like darkish kind of smoke look, right? I think I did it right. Now, all I want to do is just brighten up the lids right here just a little bit more and I think we're done. I'll be using the lime shade with my precision shadow brush. Kiss and tell. Oh my God, what happened to me? Oh my gosh, what's happening to me? Look at all this excess powder everywhere. It's no bueno. Look good. I just used a little bit of concealer by the Kat Von D right over here in the shade of neutral, number 11. I'm using a smudge brush. Clean it up, you know? That nice look. Nice and Eric, that was way too low. Oh my gosh, which, where am I getting all this stuff on me from? Oh my gosh, I can't. Some concealer. Clean up that mess. Right, I know. Hello. Zoom in. Close up. Ugh. Well, how you choose to clean it up is your prerogative, to be honest. I went in with my Lancome concealer in the shade of peach just to clean up here because the white was just making me too white. For the finishing touches here, I'm most likely gonna wanna touch it up with like a highlighter up here. So we can just highlight our brow with like a nice kind of golden color here. I would probably touch this gold right here just cause it's bright. Just wanna highlight a little bit right here to accentuate the gold of the brow bone, but also to remind you that it's a pumpkin. It's so magical, right? This is my look. You guys. Okay, so I think this is it. Now you can put on some false lashes if you want to, add some mascara and some liner if you choose to. This is as far as I would go with my look. I feel like it's missing something though. Like a cheek and a lip and all that jazz, but I'm not doing that. This is just an eyeshadow tutorial for you right here. I'm using the Marc Jacobs pencil liner in the shade of blacker. Line the waterline outside. I tried to do this in the other makeup tutorial and it didn't come out as well because I felt like I was rushing myself. I didn't give myself the look that I actually wanted. When I went out into town the other day with this look, I got a lot of compliments. I'm using the yellow gold. Okay, it's working. Yeah, this is how I made it look the other day. And actually it looked pretty good. Okay, and now from here is where I want to do the green. Like it actually, a popping green. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going in with the mint chocolate shade here on the Too Faced White Chocolate Bar Palette, just to give me that brightness of green and that touch of green that I really wanted. And you know what, it's actually working pretty nicely to my liking. Yeah, I'm looking more and more like a pumpkin. Now, I don't really know
know what happened here, so we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen, okay? We're just gonna pretend this side right here just didn't happen. We're erasing it from our lives, okay? This part did never happen, okay? And this part didn't happen either. We're gonna pretend, we're gonna just use glaze and we're just gonna glaze over it as if it didn't happen. We're just washing those sins away. It's going away, it's gone, okay? Life is better without a smudgy mess. Nobody likes a mess and nobody likes a soggy crouton. Not even me. Take a sip of your pumpkin spice latte. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is my final look for my pumpkin spice latte inspired hooded eyeshadow tutorial for droopy eyes using a Morphe's 35B palette and Too Faced white chocolate bar eyeshadow. I also used the Morphe astrology kit for a hint of dark green and eyeliner by Marc Jacobs. Isn't this great? Embrace your inner pumpkin spice latte with my pumpkin spice latte inspired eyeshadow tutorial. We're getting better. I know. At least this time we're not going to the circus. We might just hang out outside of the circus. Shoo. I need to work out on the smoke. That's my only um, new thing I need to work on. But for the most part, I've achieved that look that I really like. And for the most part, if I do work along the line here, I can actually create the look that I want. And if I look up, I don't have too much of that. Perfect. I know. This is amazing. Okay. This is like, honestly, I'm getting better, you guys. I think I just need to figure out my color wheel. <laughs> Hello. Look at you. You would too. Here we go. It's a good look. Yeah. Do you like it? <laughs>